Alright, so for now, I'm at my friend's place in Sambuanga, Sibugay. I was considering a provincial base, although I am biased to stay in Iloilo because I am more familiar with the location. Still, since I was invited here, I wanted to check it out. I do have a few things and places I still want to share and review about my stay in the U.S. So today, let's talk about the MGM Grand at Las Vegas. In the coming days, I will be posting videos on the Hello Kitty Cafe in Las Vegas, the Red Rock Canyon, and a little bit on the gem that is Tarzana, California. I'd of course be going around Zamboanga Sibugay and will take you with me. After that, we'll talk about domestic and international travel again when I leave for Iloilo or Canada. I can also create a video on how to get a Canada visa. If you're looking to ask on how to get a US visa, I can dig information on that too. It's been years since I got that. I got that in 2019. Wait, is this a diary? This is not a diary. Let's move on to the review of the MGM Grand. So for Christmas of 2021, we went to Las Vegas and stayed at the MGM Grand. Here are views of the ground floor before we proceed to the room and to the review proper. Alright, now let's check out the room. So now you've seen the ground floor, the pool, the room. Now the question is, is this hotel recommended? So let me first provide the context before I provide the answer. The room looks as advertised, same as the photos. However, one of the two rooms that we booked did smell of cigarette smoke. 
For the price of the reservation, the room being at $300 per night with a $44 resort fee, it is disappointing that there are no complimentary bottles of water, there is no microwave, kettle, or fridge in the room, there are no robes or slippers provided, there were no notable toiletries, and parking is not included and still had to be paid at $15 per day. Also, we asked for fresh towels for the second night of our stay, and it was not provided until we called a second time. During check-in, we scheduled a late checkout of 3 p.m. for both rooms. We decided to get Chinese food and eat in one of the rooms on the last day, but at 12 p.m., housekeeping knocked and advised us that the room we were in had a 12 p.m. checkout and only the other room had a 3 p.m. checkout. So we will be charged if we stay beyond 12 p.m. in that room. So, in the middle of having lunch, we had to move to the second room. This doesn't make sense because we had both rooms in the same reservation. Now, amidst all of that, what did I like about the hotel? I like that the room has adequate space. I enjoyed being at the heated pool in that cold, cold December day. And I like that the hotel is at the Strip and close to a lot of places. Aside from that, this was a really horrible hotel customer service experience. And it's really not a good value for the money spent. Even if you have prime bucks and have so much cash to burn, I'd still advise to look for a hotel that will treat you better. Sorry MGM, this was such a letdown. Have you been to the MGM Grand? Tell me about your experience. Let's talk on the comment section. And if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Share this to your friends and See you later.